What's up nerds and nerd at Goose here with another video. That's right folks. I'm back and today we are talking BO6. Black Ops 6. Here is everything we know. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Black Ops 6 is coming it is confirmed it is official if you missed the xbox showcase they premiered it there sick trailer check it out so we got campaign multiplayer and zombies so let's talk zombies round base zombies returns with two maps at launch the Dark Ether story will continue. The Dark Ether story was introduced during Black Ops Cold War. And so it continues in BO6. Classic round base is returning, so I'm looking forward to it. Bunch of Easter eggs. I'm, I'm ready. I'm thrilled. Gobble Gum. Gobble Gum returns in BO6. For those that don't know what Gobble Gum is, it was introduced in BO3, where it was basically a gum bomb machine. You go up to it, and you get to pick. And so in the menu, you'd pick what Gobble Gums you wanted to take into the game, and then at random, it would give you one. And then it was introduced. It was returned in BO4 with a twist, and it sucked. It was elixirs, but it was the same concept as Gobble Gum, but it was not done well. So hopefully, hopefully they learn from BO3, which I believe they did because if you watched the trailer or not the trailer, but if you watched the Call of Duty video uh, deep dive that they done for BO6. One of the guys from Zombies, of one of the guys that was dev for Zombies, actually kind of iterated on that some. So, that's kind of all we know about Zombies. We don't know too much right now. So, let's get into some multiplayer. So, Classic Prestige returns in Black Ops 6. Prestige 1 through 10. And then with Master Prestige at level 1,000. So once you do Prestige, you'll reset your rank. You'll work your way back up. And you'll do that 10 times. And then once you do it on the 10th time, that's when you get to level 1,000. At which point you will reach Master Prestige. So I'm really excited that... Uh, Master Prestige, Classic Prestige in general is returning because that was one of my favorite things about the OG Call of Duties. Because I was flexing that Prestige was a big thing. And I remember being in high school and all our friends bragging about it. So, really looking forward to it. 16 brand new maps at launch. It has been confirmed by Call of Duty themselves. 12 6v6 maps and four strike maps that can be played 2v2 or 6v6, which leads me to believe the mode gunfight will be returning. I am very hopeful, because I love gunfight. I dominated that gunfight. It was a great iteration to the Call of Duty games. So, not only are we getting 16 brand new maps at launch, but we're also getting brand new weapons that's never been in the Call of Duty universe ever. So I'm really eager, really excited to see what kind of guns that they do add. And you're going to have some original classic weapons returning, obviously. So, let's talk maps more. Classic three-lane maps return. They confirmed this during the deep dive that they heard us, OG players, they heard Call of Duty community talking and complaining and requesting and they're finally listening so we get classic three lane maps returning and there's brand new movement there's a thing called omni movement that's being introduced and it is a 
pretty much you can sprint in any direction sprint forward sprint back sprint left sprint right and in traditional call of duties if you go prone and you go to look behind you you would crawl in that direction whereas in with omni move it enabled you will roll over onto your back so i'm really excited for that because that's going to be bringing some top tier gameplay some top tier clips to the world so looking forward to it moving on let's talk campaign so the return of the safe house returns for campaign if y'all are unfamiliar with the safe house it was introduced in cold war so basically it was a hideaway hence safe house where in between missions you can go hang out look and check your intel and look at progression and collectibles for each level so and the safe house that they showed in the trailer actually looks 10 times better than the one in cold war so i'm really excited that the safe house is returning in-game choices that you choose will affect the outcome of the missions and the game which means that the campaign will have replayability so each time you choose something different you'll have a different ending for the campaign so very excited to see what types of endings that there will be for that and it's also rumored to be eight plus hours long so if you're a call of duty fan that enjoys the campaign and you've played the past couple campaigns you know that they've kind of like that they're very lackluster for content for story for anything and so eight plus hours long and from the snippets that they showed in the trailer it looks pretty damn good so that is pretty much everything we have and we know about call of duty black ops 6 there is a vault edition players who pre-ordered the vault edition can expect the following premium content in addition to the game itself hunters vs hunted operator pack including operator skins for adler park brutus and klaus mastercraft collection featuring five different mastercraft weapons Season 1 Black Cell including content, tier skips, Call of Duty points, and more. Gobble Gum Pack for Zombies including 12 Gobble Gums of high rarities. Call of Duty Black Ops 6 will release October 25th with beta dates pending. Stay tuned, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you on the next one.